I graduated from San Joaquin Valley College February 1996. So I began working at SkyWest at 4-10-1998 and have been there ever since. I am what they call a designated maintenance trainer, which is a big fancy title for I'm the first guy that a new hire mechanic sees when they come into any SkyWest hangar. There's basically one of my position at every maintenance base. The curriculum is very focused and even with everything I do to this day, that's the one selling point or key point that this program has always had is always speed, expediency. It's trying to get the students out into the workforce as quickly as possible. And it was like that even when I went to school back then. They prepared me by getting me prepared to get my AMP. And when I was here in school, it was always enforced that the AMP is your stepping stone to the next thing that you do in aviation, whether you go into general aviation or commercial aviation or even production. It's just getting you prepared for that next step that you're gonna take in this type of field. The airframe and power plant license is very important because you need it to be able to sign off your own work in any kind of aviation industry job, whether it's commercial or general aviation or even production. And without that, you can't get the highest or the best tier of maintenance aviation jobs that are out there. For me personally, it was obviously getting the AMP certificate. It's one thing to complete the course, but it's another to actually get that piece of paper that allows you to pretty much go anywhere in the United States and work for any company on really any type of airplane. For me, SkyWest has always been about differences and change. Uh, every time I come in to work, I know the planes are there and I know they're broken or need maintenance, but it's always different. And that's the part I've always enjoyed the most is not knowing what you're walking into every single day when you're punching in, going to work. The labs and getting out and physically turning wrenches and learning to build wing sections and playing with the composite structures, that was always the better or the funner thing while I was going to school. For us, it's always about volunteering and getting out. And I always tell guys over there, or new students, especially from SJVC or wherever they come in from, you have to raise your hand, you have to volunteer, you have to be seen. Even if you've never done something before, just you know, sticking your hand up and saying, hey, I'd like to try that or I'd like to do that. Those types of things gets, get noticed and that's what makes you a better mechanic overall because the more stuff you do, the more knowledgeable you are and you can translate those skills on one airplane to another airplane and it just makes you a more well-rounded AMP mechanic.